This is the kind of issue that I take really, really personally. I've just held the hands and heard the sobbing of too many people who've lost loved ones to gun violence. And everything I have proposed, and I know some of you are from upstate, I want you to know this, everything I've proposed, comprehensive background checks, closing the gun show loophole, closing the online loophole, closing what's called the Charleston loophole, which very briefly is something else Sanders voted for, at the end of three days, you get your gun whether the background check is done or not. The killer in Charleston got his gun even though in the next 24 hours they discovered he should have never gotten it. And he took that gun, went to the church, and murdered nine people. So what I've laid out is an agenda supported by 92% of Americans and 85% of gun owners. So we're going to really focus on this. And going hand in hand is criminal justice reform. Yesterday I was endorsed by Nicole Bell. Some of you remember her fiance, Sean Bell, was killed in police action, unarmed, a terrible, ter terrible tragedy. She endorsed me yesterday, and she set forth three goals she has that I agree with. Number one, gotta go after too many guns in too many of the wrong hands. Number two, end racial profiling. And number three, improve the training of police officers so they know how to escalate Look, I'm all about building respect between communities and the police who are sworn to protect them. We've got to do that. One or two of you said you've got a big problem in terms of an uptick in crime in some neighborhoods, even though we still have a low average. So we got to be safe. We have to be orderly, but we also have to be just. And we have to be very careful in how we perform official tasks like policing. And President Obama has great recommendations from his police commission that I am committed to implementing. So guns, criminal justice reform. Next set of issues are the promises that Senator Sanders has made. And you know, we were talking before we went out and did the uh, wonderful event today. And what was so exciting about what you accomplished on raising the minimum wage and paid family leave. <laughs> is how hard you work to bring everybody on board. The fact that you had a unanimous Senate on raising the minimum wage shows exactly what I want to do in Washington. I want to bring people together, not draw lines, not you know, hurl ideological uh, insults. I want to bring people together. So I'm not going to make promises I can't keep, but I'm going to promise to do things that I know we can do if we work really hard to actually get it accomplished. So when it comes to the economy, education, healthcare, all of these issues, what I am proposing is achievable, and I believe I can actually deliver those results. I have been privileged to do in the past, and I'm really looking forward to it. Because today, New York showed the country what we can accomplish. And it was kind of, it was just such a sweet moment to see the legislative leadership, labor leadership, to see so many members uh, of unions who were so excited by what had been accomplished, because everybody made it happen. People really worked hard. And, I give the governor great kudos for his leadership in bringing it uh, to a conclusion. One thing is I have the original toughest position on making sure Puerto Rico gets taken care of. And I am in favor of giving Puerto Rico exactly the same rights under bankruptcy that any state or city has in the same as others and so you just watch 
We're going to fight for Puerto Rico. We're going to deliver for Puerto Rico. So spread the word about that, okay? So I need your help. I need it now in these next two weeks. And I will really look forward to being in a lot of your districts because I'm going to travel across the state. I can't promise to get to everybody's, but we're going to make a good effort between me and my husband because he's going to be out on the trail too, you know. He loves doing this. <laughs> so he's looking forward to getting out and seeing as many of you as possible. I know you're still in session, but anybody who can come and join us on any of these events, please do because I want to be part of a, a whole leadership team that makes a real statement about what we're going to do uh, in this election. So talk to your friends. I love what the speaker said. Thank you, Carl, for telling people. Email your list. Let's go win on April 19th. Thank you very much.